Hey my vintage loves, welcome and today I am here to show you a very exciting unboxing video. One of the great things about social media and also collecting vintage is that when some people are trying to get rid of vintage, either they have a collection from their grandmother or their relative or they just came across some stuff and they want it to go to someone they know will love it. Um, I've had the very good luck and I'm very honored that people have reached out to me and said, would you like to have this stuff because I want it to go to someone that will love it and appreciate it and I really am very grateful that they think of me as that person. Um, and recently a follower very kindly sent me a wonderful box of vintage and they, they sent me a second box of vintage. She is a costumer and they have been um, uh, getting rid of some of their overstock costumes during COVID when there aren't any shows. And I have seen pictures of what's in this box, but I haven't got my hands on it yet and it arrived today after a very long and meandering trip to the US Postal Service. So I am very happy to open this today and share it with you and I really hope you enjoy seeing all these beautiful things as much as I am going to enjoy opening this with this box. Um, and there's some stuff for, in here for Matthew as well um, and Matthew's very excited about that. So that I know we have hats and shoes and um, some clothing and dresses as well. So I'm going to get right to it and open it up. So here we go. Carefully open up the top here. I don't want to cut anything that I shouldn't be cutting. Okay. I feel like a kid on Christmas morning. This is very exciting. <laughs> Okay, it looks like the, the hats are up first. They're all on the top here. Oh, so actually, she very cleverly packaged this. So we have, I remember I said there's stuff for Matthew in here. So we have this great waistcoat for Matthew, which will be great for our Easter parades. And back to the hats. So this is the first hat, and this is a little 40s, 50s number. I love the colors on this one, it's so cute. And now I have to find the perfect dress, and that great bow in the back, and the little hat circle on top, I think just, you know, for breathability. Great, I can't wait to wear that one. And next hat, ooh, a little tilt hat with a feather. So cute. I don't have a mirror in front of me, but I'm just gonna stick this on. <laughs> I actually don't know where I'm gonna put any of these, but I'm just, you know, that's never stopped me from taking vintage before. So, you know, happy to have it. Ah, another vest for Matthew. Lovely gray one. More, more Easter parade goodness. More hats. Here's an adorable little little straw number, a little tilt hat action. I can maybe put some flowers or something on this. It'd be very fun. Good little basic hat. And still more hats. Another lovely little, this looks like a little 50s number. I think there's um there's some netting in here that I'm gonna have to look at later and see what the condition is, but because sometimes netting is the first thing to go on old hats, so often you have to remove it or replace it. So this is a little, a little 50s kind of, kind of action. Be great with a little, a little suit. Can't wait to wear that one. Ooh, oh yes, I'm very excited about this one. I remember the pictures of this one. This is a gorgeous little, little number. Great little number with the little birdie on here. So, so cute. And as I said, the netting is sometimes the first to go. The netting on here is in great condition, which is really, really great. So I'm, it's kind of hard to show netting, but you can kind of get a sense, but super, super cute. Cannot wait to wear this. I'll just have to find a great color situation to wear this with. Actually, I just brought a color block dress at the vintage show with it that is black and this kind of peachy, coral color that will be pretty amazing with this hat. So that's, that's awesome. I love it when it works, when things work out that way. Okay. 
And I remember, ooh, I remember she put this in right at the end, I think. This is so beautiful. This is a 30s blouse jacket kind of situation. Oh my gosh, so, so beautiful. A little crisscross. I imagine this probably went with a dress at some point in its life, um, but it's just gorgeous. You can see the beading on here is, it's just stunning. I, it's in great condition considering the age and the color and everything. Like I'm kind of in awe of and just good condition this, how good the condition is on this. Wow, okay. That's amazing. Can't wait to wear that. It's just gonna look amazing with some high-waisted black pants. And Matthew is very eagerly looking in because there's, there are some, there are some top hats in here. So Matthew's very, very excited about the top hats. And here's something else from Matthew here. We have a gorgeous vest that will be a lot of fun for him to wear. Maybe for Easter, we'll see, I don't know. But lots of this very pretty brocade that you don't, you don't really see very often, waistcoats. And this looks like, oh, I don't, okay. I think this is a dress, I think. Some things, she sent me pictures of what's in this box, but that was about three weeks ago because it's been in the mail for so long. So some of the stuff I remember getting pictures of and some of the stuff I have completely forgotten seeing pictures of and it's a total surprise. Um, okay, this is a lovely, I'm guessing this is a 20s, 30s dress, 30s dress. Great condition, this lovely, this really interesting fabric, very sheer peach fabric. Looks like a great summer dress. Obviously needs to be worn with a slip underneath. And um, yeah, just a great, beautiful day dress. This would look so beautiful with a, a gorgeous hat. It might be good for um, a, summer, a summer lawn party. And next I'm gonna pull out the top hat. This came with the box. There's two of these in here. So I'm gonna have to undo this. Okay, it's coming open there. Undo the knot here. Great. Oh, okay. So she, she stuck two hats, two hats for me, two or three hats for me inside of here, which is actually really, really smart. So there's this cute little, <laughs> this shape is so interesting. I've, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this one. So we have these little buttons on the front and then the little bows on the back and it's gonna fit something like that. I don't know, I can't see it. So it's really, it'll be really fun. I don't have anything even remotely like this, so this will be really fun. And then this, this is a great color. This kind of chartreuse golden color. I don't actually know if it's a great color for me per se, but I'm sure I will find a friend who will, will love to have this. It's really lovely. And then this little, there seems to be something on the side here. Burgundy velvet belt, which I don't know if this goes with anything in the box, but we'll find out. <laughs> And then here we go, here's the top hat. Oh my God, look at that, beautiful. I think this is actual beaver. This is beautiful, it's so soft. It's so soft and just look at the shape and everything. The inside is in beautiful condition as well. I'm really excited for Matthew to try this on to see if it fits him. His eyes are lighting up as he's behind the camera and I really hope it does. And it's so great to have the beautiful box that it came with as well. And it traveled really, really well. It's in, I mean, as you can see, the condition is just amazing. So fingers crossed that this fits Matthew and he will be able to wear this in, um, at future events with his white tie and tails. So this is the little, oh, this is the little hat that came out of the, traveled inside the top hat on its way here. Adorable little ocelot, um, Jeffrey cat looks like. A little tilt hat number. Oop. This will be great when it gets, when it gets a little colder again. A great little winter hat and it doesn't blend right in with my hair, which is nice, which sometimes happens with, um, with darker furs and darker, darker, darker materials in general when you have brown hair. So moving right along, this is a cute little, cute little 50s blouse, little ruffles in the front there and those great sleeves, so, so cute. 
I'll have to see how that fits. But yeah, I love the sleeves on this. It's really, really cute. I can't wait to try that on. She did send me general measurements of these, so I think everything will fit, but if they don't, I'm gonna see how I feel about each piece. And ooh, okay, I'm really excited about this one. This is a 30s gown, and it is covered in rhinestones. Oh my God, it is so beautiful. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. So gorgeous. Look at the rhinestones on that. That is amazing. I don't even know how it's just amazing how these things survive this long. I mean, this was used as, as in costuming and it's still around and it's still in great condition. It's, it's a long, there's a train on it. There's a, the back is obviously quite a bit longer than the front of the train. And this is just a beautiful, this is an exceptional piece. Um, and I'm really, really excited to try this on and see how it fits. But yeah, this is, um, I love beading, I love rhinestones, I love all of that stuff, so very excited about this. <laughs> I'm excited about everything, but there are definitely certain things that excite me, just get me going more than others, and 30s is one of those things that really excites me. Um, beading, studs, anything in that world makes me very happy, so whenever I see it, I get very happy. Um, and next is, ah, yes, this is beautiful too, I remember this. Um, Gorgeous 30s, gorgeous, gorgeous. Got some sleeve porn going over, going on here. 30s blouse. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh, that is beautiful. <sighs> okay. Cannot wait to try this on. Very excited. Wow. Um, I'm wondering if this might have been a dress at some point in its life. Uh, I don't know if it was, um, but just a, just a wonder. But anyways, it's beautiful. These sleeves are freaking gorgeous. Look at the cut on those sleeves. And I am very, very excited to try this on. I think this would look amazing with just a pair of high-waisted pants or a skirt or anything like that, and maybe even a jacket over it. So very excited. Okay, this is something else I'm really excited about. Um, this is a two-piece, and this is the vest that goes with a dress. So I am gonna find the dress that goes with this. So this is kind of one of those little things that's gonna, the vest transforms the whole look of the outfit. So vest part, and then let me see if I can find the, vet, the dress really fast here. Oh, there it is, okay. So here is the dress. Cute little number here, comes with a little matching belt. And it needs, a, it needs to be hemmed, it needs to have the hem tacked up. And I think there might've been a rip on it somewhere, but, and then this little vest goes over it and it just creates this cute little, this cute little number. I have to try all this stuff on and see how it looks and how it feels. Ah, okay. So this is the dress that went with that burgundy velvet dress, burgundy velvet belt that we pulled out just a little while ago. Oh, that's cute. So a little burgundy number here. Such a pretty color. Great condition, beautiful condition. So nice. Gosh, it's amazing. I think I'd love to know the history behind, behind all these pieces and how they came to be in this, this collection and what were they were used on because they were obviously very well taken care of throughout their entire life. I find that a lot of the times when pieces come from costume collections, they've been beaten up. Um, the, the fastenings have been changed sometimes to Velcro for fast changes and things like that, but these were obviously very well taken care of. Um, and maybe not even used that much, I suspect, because they are just in amazing condition. Okay, so next up is this lovely frilly pink taffeta number. Ah, so we have a gorgeous 30s, 30s dress here. So back when ruffles were very, very popular, we have this and then the ruffles on the bottom as well. So that's super beautiful. Another great, this would be great for a for a lawn party situation, preferably when it's not too hot because it's taffeta, so you don't want to be wearing taffeta when it's really hot out or else you'll be pretty miserable. Okay, wow, it just goes on and on and on. <laughs> so let's see. Next we have, oh my gosh. This is definitely a gown of some kind. I'm trying to find the top here, okay. 
So here we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and snap up the back so it'll be easier to show to you guys. Okay. So it looks like a, could even be a wedding gown. Looks like a 30s wedding gown. Have the, the sleeves that will be puffed up when they're all ready to go. A high ruffled, I mean, a high pointed collar. This is like peak 30s here. And then these beautiful buttons down the back. So yeah, definitely could have been worn as a wedding dress, I think. Really beautiful. This will make someone very, very happy. And moving right along, black velvet. Something, I think this is a top or a dress. Oh, okay, this is a, uh, oh yeah, this is like a little black velvet jacket. This is probably made to go with a dress at some point. It's probably part of a set at some point in its life. And it has this kind of classic lower, lower buttons right here and then these very cool sleeves which are very, very 30s. A lot of 30s in this box. It seems to be mostly 30s. I wonder if this all came from the estate of the same person maybe because they look to be roughly the same size and everything's obviously in very good condition. But I'm, I, my guess is that it came from the same person. But I don't know that for sure. And it looks like we have a lovely organza, organza dress here. Ah, okay, another little 30s number. Lots of ruffles at the bottom. Very sheer. Be a nice little, a nice, another, another, another little lawn party ensemble with a gorgeous organza hat with ruffles would be so, so beautiful. Okay, I think what we have left is the, is the shoes. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I think we have one more. I think we're close to having just the shoes and one more top hat left. Ah, okay. This might go with the dress that we just pulled out. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, this is a little jacket that goes with the, I'm pretty sure this is a little jacket that goes with the, with the, um, the dress that I just pulled out. But I'll have to try that on and, and find out for sure. I'm not 100% on that, but it is a lovely little jacket. Okay. Um, let's see. Sorry for all the tissue paper sounds. <laughs> okay, this is um, this is such a cute, a neat little thing. I think this is a little like hat mesh thing. Let me take a quick look here. So, oh yeah, okay. So it's this little looks to be a little netting of some kind. So I think you'd want to. Actually, not even sure if you'd wear it. So it's netting with little rhinestones in it and in immaculate condition. It looks like a you know, never worn situation. So I'm assuming you could do it like this or for a little drama, or you could do it like that, just over your hair. So you could have some sparkle in your hair or something like that. So lovely little fun little piece. Someone took very good care of that over the years. It is, like I said, it's very, it's always very exciting to see the, the netting in good condition because it is actually very rare to find netting in good condition, especially that very sheer netting with the rhinestones on it. Very, very rare. So I'm just going to move along to the, the shoes really fast. So these are some lovely boudoir slippers. I'm going to have, these look like com they'll be comfortable too because the heel isn't too high. I have one or two pairs of of these that are a little, they're cute, but I can't wear them for too long because they're not so comfortable. Um, so these are the boudoir slippers. In an amazing condition, they look completely unworn. It's just crazy. And then, oh, these are lovely little, some pumps, some Saks Fifth Avenue pumps that look, that are just look like great, kind of like little everyday ankle strap situations that I hope will fit. Again, I haven't tried any of this on. This is all going to be very, you know, it'll be fun to try all this stuff on to see if it fits. That's kind of the fun of vintage and see what I want to add to my closet. And um, that's just always the fun of it all. So I think, oh yeah, these are some very old shoes. Um, these look to be, yeah, these have been, these have been worn and loved, but also well taken care of. I think these are men's shoes. And I'm not sure if these will fit Matthew, but he is definitely going to give these a try. I can tell just from the look on his face. 
<laughs> so we're gonna see if these fit, but they are really cool. I, I'm gonna say those are probably teens or 20s. You think that's right, hon? Yeah. yeah. So the very last thing in the box is the, um, the last hat box with the last top hat in it. So I'm gonna open that up now. I believe this one is a slightly different size than the other top hat. I am not quite sure. Matthew's gonna have to try on these top hats when we're done to see which one fits and hopefully one or both will fit. Okay, so there's some more hats for me in here too. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of hats. Okay, this is a very, very fun hat. This is like 30s, oh, little thing. Um, this is like 30s crazy hat at its best. And uh, I'm gonna see if you can kind of see that. I love it. It's like a little kind of witchy kind of hat, that like conical hat, 30s hat thing that was happening for a while that was so very popular, um, giving me the women vibes. And this is what popped out of earlier. This looks like a lot of, a lot of mesh going on. I'm not... Yeah, looks like a little headband with a, uh, this is really sturdy mesh too. I did, this is like another another level, so. A little, little bit more mesh for us. Oh yeah, I'm actually really excited about this piece, I remember. So this is a corset cover, Edwardian corset cover it looks like. And I think someone probably dyed it this yellow color at some point in its life, but I don't mind it. Yellow's not my favorite color, but I might keep that. We'll see how it goes but it is really lovely, giving me some kind of fun 70s Edwardian vibes. Belt to go with one of the dresses. Another belt to go with another one of the dresses. Um, something else here. Oh, another little, another little hat with, uh, oh, the original tags on it, I think. This is a, looks like a little Juliet cap kind of, kind of thing. And just really sweet and delicate little, little Juliet cap there. So sweet. And again, the netting is in amazing condition. I think something like this. Cute, cute. Okay, let's see if anything else is in here besides the top hat. So the last thing is the top hat. And this is another beautiful top hat. It feels like it's Bieber. It's so, so soft. And it's in amazing, amazing condition. Um, you can see the inside. It looks like it was basically never worn or hardly worn. It's it's pretty amazing to hold something like this in your hands, honestly. I never actually I never knew how soft these top hats were. They feel they feel really, really good. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I think that is everything in this amazing box of wonders. Um, thank you so much for watching this and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be trying the stuff on to see what fits and what works. And thank you so much to the follower who sent me all of this. I am very honored and I'm really touched that you gave this to me and to pass it along and add to my closet and I'm, I just love that about vintage that it has this life and it lives its life and you never know where it's been or what will come to you in the future. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Maybe there'll be more unboxing videos in the future and follow us on, my, on Instagram at my vintage love blog and please subscribe below if you haven't already and I will see you at the next one.